Hi, I'm Vera. Thanks for watching my channel. I want to talk with you today about why we choose to have sex. Why is that an important question? So I'm generally interested in what makes a life fulfilling, what makes a life happy, and sexuality is one part of that that is often neglected. So in order to yeah, improve our happiness, our fulfillment, it is very good to get more aware of our sexuality and of our sexual behaviors because it's such an important part of our well-being. And if we get more aware of why we engage in sexual behaviors, then we can also, yeah, we get to get, our, get to know ourselves better, we get to accept ourselves more, and also we can then maybe make changes that make us happier and that make other people around us, our loved ones, happier. So I'm going to present a study by Cindy Meston and David Buss, who found out which kind of reasons people had to have sex. And while you watch it, you can ask yourself, okay, which of these reasons are important in my life? Which, which are the reasons for why I usually choose to have sex? So they asked uh, about 440 people, mostly students, to indicate uh, why they've had sex with someone in the past or why someone that they knew have, has had sex in the past. So people came up with a lot of reasons and the researchers then identified the unique ones, which were not kind of double or similar, and then had a list of 237 reasons for why these people have had sex or thought people might have want to have sex. Then they made a questionnaire out of these items and gave them to more than 1,500 people. Those people were all students. These students were almost all of them between 18 and 22 years old, so on average 19 years old. So the results of the study are not uh, generalizable to the general population, but still uh, they can give you an indication of why people, especially young people, choose to have sex and they are the results are still helpful for you as an instrument to yeah, get more aware of your own reasons of why you want to have sex. So from the responses of so they asked people how often in the past have did you have sex for all of those different reasons? For example, I was so attracted to the other person, I was horny, etc. And then they carried out an analysis to identify four themes, four factors with a factor analysis, um, which is a statistical procedure, and then also certain sub-factors of all the of the four group of reasons. So the first big group of reasons that was identified was physical. So the first sub-factor out of these was stress reduction. So I'm not telling them now in the order of importance, but just in the way, in the order that they, they were identified in the article. I will tell you later what was the results of which ones were most important for the students. So the first category was physical and the, and the first subcategory of this was stress reduction. So relieving stress, uh, feeling a bit frustrated and tense and wanting to relieve, uh, relieve that or perhaps feeling that for men that had, they had blue balls. So that was the first category. The second one was pleasure, wanting to experience pleasure, orgasm, joy. Um, and then the next one is physical desirability that relates to how attracted they were to the other person. So the other person was just too hot to resist. Uh, I was so attracted, the person had a lovely face, um, had beautiful eyes, these kind of reasons. And then experience seeking relates to, okay, I wanted to, I was, I was curious about sex, I was curious to try out new techniques, I wanted adventure. So now you can already ask yourself uh, to what extent this factor is important in your own motivation to have sex. Um, or, yeah. Yeah, which of these reasons are often present in your life? Then the next category of reasons was goal attainment. The first out of those, the first sub-factor factor out of these is resources. And by the way, this factor was not very much embraced by the students, like almost no one really um, said they had sex for these reasons, but some people still did. So resources means that you want that people had sex to get something in return, for example, a raise or a job or even money. Um, 
interestingly, one item included in this list was also to get closer to God. So this was also uh, grouped in this category of resources, interestingly. Then social status. So people said that they wanted to brag about their conquest uh, to their friends or um, maybe they met someone who was famous and they wanted to say, well, I had sex with this famous person. And this was might be more important for men and also men had slightly um, higher values on this because in our society, of course, it's still more socially acceptable or desirable for a man to have many partners compared to a woman. So um, revenge was another one. So for example, I wanted to punish my partner because he cheated on me or she cheated on me or I wanted to make someone jealous. The last one out of this category is utilitarian. So to have sex to gain any other kind of benefits. Some people said they had sex to burn calories. <laughs> or to stay warm, or um, what else was there, like to, to help them fall asleep, to change the conversation that was uncomfortable, these kind of reasons, yeah, so to, to get some, some other outcome out of the sex, or to relieve headache. Yeah, so this is the second category, goal attainment, and then the third category was emotional reasons. And there were two sub-factors, love and commitment was the first. So that was about uh, feeling close to your partner, feeling the connection, uh, knowing that you are in love with the person, etc. And then expression relates to wanting to express something like celebrating a birthday with them, a special occasion, or you wanted to surprise your, your darling when he or she came home or say thank you for something, yeah? Like expressing your emotions. So that's the third category. And then the fourth and last category is insecurity related to reasons. And the first sub factor of that is self esteem. So having sex in order to get approval, attention, to feel powerful, um, yeah, to just boost your self esteem. And the second one is duty or pressure. So that's ranged from really feeling forced to having sex, which is terrible, of course to uh, a bit more moderate versions where people just felt obliged to have sex with someone, for example, because they took them out for dinner or um, yeah, that they felt like the other one was uh, annoying them so long to have sex that they finally gave in. The last uh, final group of reasons was mate guarding. So that means people having sex with their partner or with someone because they thought that by doing that the person will love them or will not cheat on them or will stay with them. So like a means to secure the relationship. So those were the four groups. Physical reasons, goal attainment reasons, emotional reasons and insecurity related reasons. So you can ask yourself now, okay, which of these reasons play a role in my life? And uh, this is something where you have to be really honest with yourself because I think most people will not admit that maybe they had sex to increase their social status. <laughs> it doesn't sound very good, but there's a lot of power in admitting these things to yourself and then being able to make a change or, or sex just to get approval or attention. Yeah, so I think it's very powerful if you're honest with yourself um, and identify your real reasons for why you usually want to have sex. Yeah, so just to uh, tell you more about the results of the studies, I'll study briefly. So the number one reason for why both men and women wanted to have sex uh, was pleasure, wanting to experience orgasms, pleasure, joy. And the second most important reason was love and commitment. It was not very close behind pleasure, it was quite a bit <laughs> behind, but uh, still the second most important one expressing love and commitment. And then the final third one also for men and women was uh, experience seeking, curi curiosity around sex. And of course, these results are uh, just true for this kind of sample, which were all college students, uh, psychology students, um, and uh, with a mean age of 19 years, as I think I said. So, of course, this might not at all apply to older people. So, for example, uh, experience seeking might be more important for younger people than older people. But it's still interesting finding 
in terms of gender differences, um, men were generally much more, uh, they embraced many more reasons than women in general, all of them, except for the uh, emotional reasons. And the emotional reasons were about, were similar in the two groups, but all the other ones men embraced more. And again, this might be due to social desirability effects. That means that for men, it's more acceptable in a way that you um, that they ha want to have sex with someone for reasons other than love. For a woman, it's often kind of expected that they have sex just because they are in love with someone, not, for example, um, yeah, because they want to reduce stress or whatever. So that might be a reason why these differences appeared, or it might be a real difference. By the way, the study did not give any information from what I could see about whether there were any transgender people in the uh, sample, or uh, there's also no information on sexual orientation. So maybe that was not so, um, yeah, people were not so aware of looking into this at the time of the study in 2007. But just as a side note, um, yeah, so those were the results of the study. I will put a list of all the factors of reasons under the video so you can look through them again yourself to think about your reasons to have sex and get more aware of your sexuality. And yeah, if you want to learn more, more information about the sex of science and about yourself and your sexuality, then please subscribe to my channel uh, and like this video if you liked it. So I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video, which I will post very soon. Thank you so much for watching.